Hey everyone, it's Mike again from Mac3DArt.com and today I'm going to go over one of our last um, updates on Project Asphalt, I know. Um, for those that have been watching, I want to say thank you guys so much for um, you know leaving me feedback and uh, contacting me, letting me know what issues you guys have been running into, what you guys wanted to see um, added to the game and um, I, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all that feedback. It's definitely made this project a lot better than what I honestly imagined when I first started working on this. But um, anyways, um, I'm going to kind of just dive right into all the new uh, features that we've added, um, all the new things that um, have been inputted into the application. Um, for those that are wanting to actually download, um, I'm going to leave a download link at the bottom of this video and you guys can uh, download the application. Or if you guys would like, you can go to my website at www.mac3dart.com. Um, just go to the main page, click on projects, go to the project asphalt area, and then um, this is our about page. So you can uh, read all about the project, see all the pitch documents that I made earlier before this project even started, and then you can check all the previous um, updates that um, I've made with all the previous builds and stuff like that so you can kind of see where the project has um, you know kind of gone since we first started and then um, of course we've got the download uh, beta link right here where you can actually download the zip folder that's got the latest build um, and you guys are welcome to like I said leave me feedback and help me make this a little bit better um, as far as we're going though on uh, features we're getting towards the end of this project and the end of the semester and so I'm gonna have to you know say you know let's polish it up make it look the best that we can and get it ready for other people to start using in the public um, so for those that um, have already downloaded the zip folder you should get this little zip folder right here go ahead and just right click on that and extract the folder you should get a folder right here with a bunch of different stuff in there double click on that go to Windows no editor and you should have the executable right there so I'm gonna click on that and get the game started up here so uh, again, this is our main menu. Uh, nothing has changed since the latest build. Um, we can still, you know, uh, navigate through here. We still see the Subaru in the background and with different, you know, uh, looks and stuff like that at different angles. Uh, we still have the about page and everything where you can read about the project and everything like that. Um, I'm gonna go and change the resolution here for the changes. And then, um, of course, we still got sounds. We've got like all sorts of different songs. We can still, you know, adjust the volume and everything. Um, and then we've got uh, the rest, different resolutions to choose from and stuff. But I'm gonna just jump right into the project here. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna show first go uh, what we've done uh, cosmetically. So we've updated. Um, all the walls, they've got uh, brand new textures that look like they're much more even and everything. Um, everything looks black and doesn't look like there's two different colored walls and stuff like that. We've also added a bunch more things to the scene. So we've got floor mats, and, uh, we've got fire extinguishers, we've got uh, you know ceiling fans now that rotate. Uh, we've got dust particles over here. And so the closer you get to the garage door, you know, the more dust that we've got coming in. Um, all sorts of, you know, really cool things. Um, and then my one of my favorite things now is we've got these light switches that when you put the mouse over, you've got one right over here on this exit door, or you've got one right here right by the garage doors. And uh, what this does is uh, when you click on them, um, it turns on and off the lights in the seat. So um, you can actually adjust the lighting in the room, or at least you can play around with it so it feels like it's an actual room. <laughs> so... Um, but anyways, I'm going to recenter the camera here to the car and show you that we've got all um, our paints, all our bumpers, all our hoods, all our skirts. Everything is now modeled and uh, placed into the game and um, everything should be working just, uh, just right. Um, we've got all our rims, all everything. I mean, everything is now updated. We've got all the icons updated. Um, we are we are almost done here guys <laughs> so and I want to say thank you again for all the feedback you guys have given me too so but anyways um, aside from all the you know the all cool new 
fancy looks and uh, textures and lighting and all that stuff. Um, so I've got uh, all the parts done, so I'm going to start building my car here. And we've got, actually, actually that's pretty cool. And uh, we've got all my hoods, so we've got some four different variants on the hoods now, and then we've got some carbon fiber hoods that we can choose from. Personally, I like this one. So we'll just stick with that. We've got skirts now, so we can add some skirts to the bottom of the car. All sorts of different ones to choose from. Of course, we can still remove those if we don't like them, but I can like them. We got new rear bumpers now to choose from, so we can choose a different. Sure, I kind of like this one a lot. And we got all sorts of different spoilers now. All the spoilers have been added in. choose from like those ones still got all the neon lights We've got all sorts of different colors to choose from here guys and then of course we can turn those off as well if we don't like them a lot of these options like the neons the spoilers skirts um, we can actually remove those um, things things that were are kind of required to be on the car I didn't leave any features to remove those so sorry guys if you really wanted that but um, I felt it completely unnecessary so and then of course we've got um, paints so we've got all sorts of different paints to choose from here and I'm gonna go with my favorite color orange so we got purple neon orange car <laughs> And then, um, of course, we still have the uh, uh, snapshot feature. So if you guys would like, you say you get like a really good angle and you're like, oh, I want to show this over to my friends. I think this is a really cool car. And let's see here. Let's get a fun angle that we like. Uh, those are the curious that are wondering how I'm moving around here, too. We still have the WASD. So if you uh, push WASD on the keyboard, we can actually move around in the environment. I'll just kind of go right here. I kind of want my headlights on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn those on and take a snapshot. And uh, for those that are uh, wanting those snapshots, I'll show you where to get them if you don't click on that right away. You don't have to. So. But um, the last biggest feature that we've got here, guys, is um, the reset. So say I really don't like this car for whatever reason and I want to start over. Um, all I have to do is uh, simply click on this reset button and it resets our car back to its normal, you know, default state. So, um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I want to say thank you guys again so much for uh, all your uh, support, all your comments, all your feedback, uh, contacting me and taking the time to uh, download the betas and uh, play around with it. Um, before we go here, though, I'm going to show you guys that where you can get those photos so um, they're actually going to be in the folder that you guys downloaded and extracted so just go to the project asphalt folder go to windows no editor go to project asphalt game um, there's a saved folder right there and we sh uh, should have a screenshots um, folder that I created for you guys and then all those screenshots that um, you've taken are placed right in there so but um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave a comment at the bottom of this video. Um, it really does help this project become a lot better. Um, I will be showing this off at uh, Ferris State University here in the coming weeks. Um, for those that are interested in coming down and taking a look, I'll leave uh, some detailed information for you guys to come down and, and see it in person and meet me and, and, and talk and I'll, I'll bring food and drink and, and all sorts of fun stuff for you guys to uh, see. Um, but anyways, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching and take care.